is the regular meeting of the Chislehurst Borough Council of March the 14th, 2019. At this time, we will have the Pledge of Allegiance. Sunshine statement, please. In accordance with the Old Park Meeting Act, this meeting is called to order pursuant to notice of regular meeting. A copy which has been made available to the newspaper local public circulation and a copy which has been posted publicly in accordance with the law. Roll call. Allen. Yes. Two. Here. Barnett. Here. Yes. Hearn. Here. Little. Here. Maroon. Here. Uh, can I get a council committee report? No, no. Approved minutes of February 14th, 2014. Uh, can I get a vote on that? Move. Second. Roll call. Allen? Yes. Two? Yes. Garnett? Yes. Hearn? Yes. Little? Yes. Maroon? Yes. All right, before we do council committee reports, I want to, <coughs> I got Harry Van Skyver here, um, who's going to be our new um, emergency management coordinator. Um, he has to go to work leave at three o'clock in the morning. I don't want to keep him here for an extended period of time. We're going to do it by resolution. Uh, the uh, solicitor is going to put the resolution together. So probably the last thing on the agenda would be that particular resolution. Um, Matt Marone, um, I apologize for not getting in contact with you in reference to uh, Harry. Uh, Harry was recommended by the chief um, who's resigning from that position, and uh, Robert Ingram, who's also in that position. They highly recommended this individual, and he called me yesterday. So I, I found out yesterday that he was really interested, and in, Matt worked hard trying to get somebody for us. So uh, I thank you, Matt. Um, I apologize no for problem. stepping on your toes. It was no not problem. done in malice. All right, so, trying to get the job done. Okay, thank you. From here on out, that's who you talk to. All right, uh, Harry, you can go now. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Uh, and you tell me at three thirty. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. On council committee reports, uh, council president, everyone turned in the council committee report. I mean, council committee report. Okay, so we're going to start with uh, Councilwoman Alwine. Thank you, Mayor. Good evening, everyone. Mm -hmm. um, my report for March is short. I have one thing to talk about, and that's Chesilhurst Day. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, we were here, um, it was Valentine's Day, actually, for Chesilhurst um, Recreation, Chesilhurst Day Committee. But unfortunately, no one in the public showed up, and the show must go on. Chiselhurst Day is June 8th, rain or shine. New this year for vendors, you have to have a health certificate to sell food. Is that right, Mr. Solicitor? Yes. Health certificate. You must have a health certificate. Information on how to obtain the health certificate is on our website, www.chiselhurstgov.net. Um, again, we will have a chock full of fun. We have inspirational concert. We have moon bounces. We'll have a car show. We have musical talent. We will have vendors, um, basketball tournaments. It is um, a great event. Um, hundreds and hundreds of residents come out every year. Um, due to the, the mayor and the council support, every year since I have served, it's gotten bigger and better. Um, and we uh, encourage all families with children, seniors, everyone from all over Chislehurst to come on June 8th to the Leanna Harris Park at 4th and Center Avenue. As always, if you want to participate or have any ideas or have any questions, please email me at r at councilwoman.rakiah.alwan at gmail.com. Also, um, for planning board at this time, I have nothing to report. For historical committee, there's no report at this time, but hopefully we will be uh, meeting in, in the spring sometime soon. And that concludes my report for uh, March 2019. 
Come out for Chislehurst Day on June 8th. Okay. Thank you, uh, Councilwoman Alwan. I want to say that you don't have to be from Chislehurst to come to Chislehurst Day. Right. <laughs> uh, we are very inviting yeah. people, and we love for you to come and yeah. visit our town and enjoy the festivities. So if you're not from Chislehurst, come on down anyway. We want to see you. All right, thank you. Um, Councilwoman Chu. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Um, my report also will be somewhat short tonight. Um, <clears throat> the vendor application uh, per the Councilwoman is on the website. This is a PDF file. The uh, file will need to be printed and filled in um, and sent back to us. Thank you. That is for Chislehurst Day. Uh, there is nothing to report under the personnel committee at this time. Uh, finance, there's nothing to report, but this is a reminder that AARP, the IRS, and the Camden County Board of Freeholders are offering free tax services. Refer to the information in my report for dates and time. The Philadelphia Zoo is recruiting students who love animals and want to learn how about and to work with them. Uh, this information could be found on the link on my report on the website. Economic development, there's nothing new at this time. I am persistently searching for businesses who are looking for the ideal location. If you or someone you know are looking to locate or relocate a business, please contact the Borough Hall at 856-767-4153 and leave your contact information. We will contact you promptly to discuss your needs and how we can help you. You can also email me at councilwoman.karen.chu at gmail.com. The Board of Health, with warmer weather approaching, the Camden County Department of Health and Human Services Bioterrorism and Health Education Team recommend taking some simple steps to prepare for and respond to potential emergencies, including natural disasters and terrorist at attacks. They ask individuals to do three key things. Get an emergency supply kit, make a family business emergency plan, and be informed about the different types of emergencies that could occur and their appropriate responses. This information can be found on the Camden County's website. Uh, the Camden County also has a new online resource called the Camden County Resource Compass. The link can be found in my report online. This site is the first of its kind in the state and will provide residents with up-to-date access to social service providers throughout the county. Uh, for the Historical Committee, again, as the Councilwoman mentioned, there is nothing to report at this time. With the warmer weather, we will be starting to have meetings again. And that ends my report uh, for this month. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Councilwoman Chu, I know you gave uh, a phone number for people that want to open up a business, but you didn't give an extension. Um, Terribly sorry. Huh? Terribly sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, extension zero. Uh, usually the clerk will take that information, write it down in case Karen you can't get her right then. Some people want to talk to somebody right now, so somebody's going to be here to talk to. And she'll <laughs> her zero is an extension zero. One zero one zero. One zero one zero. And um what'll happen, she'll give that information to me and I'll get back in contact with you to talk to you about the possibilities. Okay? Um <coughs> Councilman Hearn. finally got itself together and came in for its increase. And um, it was a very reasonable increase. It was only one and a quarter, one and a half percent, which was well within the limits. And he showed where he had reason. Things have gone up, and that was all fine. But then they wanted the rent control to approve that this hike be put back to, like, October and have the tenants pay this five and six months, you know, back payments and 
I got a little bit upset about that and it sort of made the meeting drag out. And basically what happened was the rent control lawyer and the landlord's lawyer had to get together and they came up with a deal that they brought to us that he would only get two months of back rent. So I begrudgingly agreed with that because I still didn't think that it was our problem or the tenant's problem that they couldn't get it together and make it to these meetings. And I'm not going to make the tenants pay for it, not if I don't have to. And um, that's, the, the, that's the meeting that I tried to tell you to come to a few months ago because I wanted you to see that rent control is a you know very vile part of this government even though we're not really busy every month we do have meetings that are over in less than 10 minutes but when these landlords want these increases and in back pay we're here to put a check on it. and that's you know as long as i'm there that's what i'm going to do i'm going to check these guys from any foolishness that i can stop at all and that's all i have is rent control thank you Okay, uh, Councilman Hearn, uh, thank you for that report. You know, uh, it's not just for the mobile home park, rent control. If you are renting a property in Chiselhurst and you have questions, concerns, or some issues that you need to address, uh, the rent control board is where you need to go. And they can uh, advise you. I don't know about legal advice, but they can hear what you have to say. They do have an attorney there and the landlord um, may have to come or they may request a landlord to come to the rent control board meeting so please don't sit back and say well there's nothing I can do uh, you you can go to the rent control board meeting okay uh, councilman Rome thank you as mayor said I've been working on emergency services uh, getting the coordinator and a deputy we're getting that together now uh, by next month hopefully we'll have names of both gentlemen and a plan on February 13th, the Windsor Township School Board met at the middle school. The topic this month was focused on anti-bullying. Mr. Tinsley from the New Jersey School Board Association gave a presentation on anti-bullying. That's all I have. Okay. Thank you. That's good. Uh, Councilman Littles. <clears throat> Thank you, Mayor. To the borough, to Mayor, Council, to Borough of Chiselhurst, I'll report very short this evening and it is as follows the borough tv public access station has been updated with all new names of uh of uh, council members and also members in our our boards throughout the at the borough that concludes my report councilman Hunter Littles. thank you councilman council president <clears throat> thank you mr mayor good evening everyone um i'm not sure if uh, we were able to discuss the Black History program that took place February 23rd. Um, but I would like to say thank you to um, all those who came out to participate and support. Uh, the Visions of Freedom play was very informative and a great success. So I would like to thank uh, the Spirit Gives Life Ministries and Pastor Monique Roshan and her um, staff for coming out and doing such an awesome job. Um, happy National Women's Month to Hi Women's uh, History Month to everyone who is a woman. Um, honoring all women everywhere, you are a phenomenal woman. Um, I would like to say that there was a fire in the town and country mobile park, and my condolences to that family. Um, my thoughts and prayers are with you, because this is a tragedy. And because <laughs> it was a tragedy, um, the Winslow Fire Department conducted a fire alarm inspection and in the mobile home park and they handed out smoke detectors and carbon monoxide detectors. Um, it was a great experience and for all the residents and for the, the people that um, live there, they were very appreciative. So I would like to thank the Winslow Fire Department for coming out and doing that. We had an awesome time just meeting people and you know making sure that everything was okay. So they would like for you to make sure you replace your batteries in your smoke detectors and in your carbon monoxide detectors. If you have any questions or concerns and you would like for someone to come out and inspect your uh, devices, you can reach the fire, fire department at 609-561-4225. They have a form for you to fill out. Um, and if you were not home that day, they did leave something for you on your door. All right. Um, 
Also, unfortunately, there was another incident in Tavares where a tree did fall on someone's home. Um, and that matter prayerfully is being um, taken care of at the moment. And my condolences to that family as well. They are here. Um, and I pray that it will be handled in a timely manner. Um, also, my condolences to the Walker family, the Mumford family, and also the um, Henson family in, in their time of bereavement. For the Chiselhurst Police Department, the Chiselhurst Police Department is working on a program that helps the homeless and also people who have suffered a tragedy and may be displaced out of their home. Um, and they're also doing the regular car stops and checkpoints, and we're working on trying to get a DUI checkpoint as well. For the Personnel Committee, at this time there was one matter, but um, it will be discussed at a later time. For the Senior Citizen Committee, um, a meeting was held. They discussed the upcoming annual luncheon for all senior citizens um, that live here in the borough. And we're trying to get that together now. And also we worked on what we're going to do for Chiselhurst Day and also for the holiday party that is in December. All council did submit their reports. And there was a time change for the... Um, corner cupboard food bank that's located at the First Baptist Church. It's every third Wednesday of the month now, every third Wednesday of the month between 4 p.m. and 7 p.m. That's located at 57 Whitehorse Pike, right here in Chiselhurst. It's for emergencies, not just for on that day, but if you have an emergency, you can also come that day. Mother Earth is every <coughs> Thursday at 12 p.m. at Grant AME Church. Please make sure you guys attend that. It's an awesome service. Well, not service, but an event. <laughs> also, um, if you are on the website and if you do go on the website, I have a list of the events and also the flyer for Chiselhurst Day and the food pantry and any other um, events that you might want to partake of in Camden County. Thank you. This is my report. Submitted Council President Jamila Odom Garner. Thank you, Mayor. I'd also like to say on um, behalf of our fire victims, I did a fundraiser that went well, and I was able to secure, on behalf of the borough, anonymous funding for our fire victims, and they were very thankful, and thank God no one was hurt in that fire. Thank you. Councilman Herbert Little. Okay. <clears throat> uh, I got one thing um, you probably have in your packet where we have on Siegfried Avenue, we have to clean out that um, basin again. Mm -hmm. um, I'm um, going to have to go out for three quotes. Um, so when it, last time it was clean was like eight or nine years ago. And leaves and whatever gets in there and water gets in there and it, it, um, it clogs up. Mm. And we are so we're required to keep it clean. Um, in every basin people have in their towns, they have to keep them clean. So we got a lot of leaves that go in there. And then that particular basin uh, supplies for that whole section of, of um, Siegfried, Francis, all the water from when it rains go to that particular one. So um, it needs to be cleaned more often. So I'm going to be working on that um, this week. Uh, coming up, uh, we give whatever three quotes. If you know anybody that does it, uh, I need three quotes. Let's let's send them down there to give us a quote. We get it, got to get it clean, so it can um, start draining a little bit better. It drains, but it it doesn't drain as good as it was when it first cleaned out. Um, we know the rain season is coming, so I'm trying to get on top of it now. Um, I sent the engineer out. He made his recommendations and like you have in your packet. And so we have to do it. All right. Reports. No, let's go with, let's open this meeting to the, to the public. Can I get a motion to open the meeting to the public? Second. Moved and second. Roll call, please. This meeting is now open to the public. Any member of the public who wishes to come forward and speak, give your name and your address, and I'll see if I can answer your questions. If I can, I might be able to have one of the council members answer it. 
And if they can't answer, we'll see if we can get you an answer by the next meeting. Yes, sir. Nick Ramondo, 307 Edwards Avenue in Chislehurst. Mm -hmm. Already had two meetings with with council mm -hmm. and planning board. I did everything that you requested. Mm -hmm. Certified door to door. Mm -hmm. uh, my wife came here. No one knew what to do with the papers. She has the papers. Uh, Ed Williams is playing stallmate, mm -hmm. uh, coming up with excuses after excuses why he won't sign off with for the permits. Okay, let me let me say this to you. You called the other day. You talked to Gloria. Told she told you you told her that you had everything. Now, I I said to her to call Mike Chu, okay, or Carla Lyles. Carla Lyles is the secretary for the Planning and Zoning Board. They told you that they would do an emergency meeting, okay? At that emergency meeting, that's where it's going to get signed off on, all right? So we're waiting another month now. No, no, you're not listening to what I said. They will call an emergency meeting. What happened to the emergency meeting that you requested? Can I say something? I, I never. This, um, I, we spoke to Ed Williams on the phone, mm -hmm. and he it was both of us on the phone with him. Mm -hmm. And he asked, he was the one that we were told to talk to for the emergency meeting. That's the head of the planning board, I presume. Anyway, he told us to write a letter, uh, and I did. I can read the letter to you if you'd like. Stating. Hold, hold on, hold on, Councilman. Yes. When you when you was at the planning board, and was you there also? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so now you said that they said when they get this paperwork, mm -hmm. okay, to submit it to who? They submit it to the Planning and Zoning Board. Okay, and mm -hmm. that's by Carla Lyons. I'm, I'm we were told Ed Williams. We I'm never sorry. heard these names. Okay. I'm, I mean, I'm, Ms. we've Ms. been okay, I'm writing down everything. Okay. okay. Let me I just think, explain I think, the I two. Think, there's two I, letters. Go ahead. Go ahead. Two letters okay. I had to write. Okay. One was to the neighbors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was done, mm -hmm. certified. Plus, I went to door to door. Mm -hmm. The other letter Ed required us to be to write was to say how long this emergency relief trailer would be on our property, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and our carpenter and and everybody that's given us estimates has said no more than four months, and mm -hmm. our carpenter's even saying three months. And I would say three months. And so we're giving four months just for weather delay emergency but he told me to write the letter mm -hmm. i wrote it to him explaining this and he said at our own risk and that we accepted that at our own risk mm -hmm. so that certified got sent to him today i got a letter here for him as well and this is what we've been we've been doing everything let me let me tell you this let me tell do. you this okay i just planning, want to explain the, the planning difference. and zoning board will have emergency meetings he told us Mr. 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 No, no. Mr. Mayor, can, can i just i want to finish can telling you what he told me okay. because he bypassed the emergency meeting okay. he told me to bring this letter to him 5 30 he's here 5 30 to 6 30 monday mm -hmm. and to bring this letter mm -hmm. the problem is the dac is needing him to sign off some permits mm -hmm. that he won't sign off on he just refuses to sign mm -hmm. And, um, and we had a conference call the other morning mm -hmm. where he at agreed 10, at 10 o'clock and when we explained three to four months his reaction was oh i don't have a problem with that right i thought it was going to be more than a year right mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. so he would make it happen was mm -hmm. his words mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and here we are playing stallmate again mm -hmm. okay so what, what do you want us to do we just I want those to, papers. I want, I want those on. those permits that that were handed out signed, uh -uh. and get that trailer in my property. So we I, can. Okay, Mr. Oh, Mayor, can I just go ahead. Go ahead. Please. We're homeless right now. Mm -hmm. okay. Everybody forgets here that we're homeless. For three we're weeks living now. out of boxes. Okay. No hold one on, cares. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Okay. okay. Now I received the email. Okay. Good afternoon. Please be advised that there is no need to have an emergency. Now, this email came from Mr. Williams. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Who is our, 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 our code enforcer. If I might be wrong with that. The plan. Anyway. Okay. Planning it's only officer. Officer. It says here, 
uh, needing to discuss the request for Mr. and Mrs. Ramondo. Mr. Williams spoke with both Mr. Morando today mm -hmm. and resolved their issue. Right. Documentation as to the resolution will be made as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. Please contact head. me directly if you have any concerns. And that is the Planning and Zoning Board Secretary. Okay, I okay. have everything. Now, now, if you have everything, mm -hmm. we explain this to you at the caucus meeting. This body, this mayor, we are a governing organization. Okay. Now we understand that you you have, but I have just I just read a report where I, we I have other constituents whose home burnt totally down, and I'm not saying one. Tops I've been the through other. fires too. I understand okay. that. Okay. I've but been what there I'm too. To you mm -hmm. is everything legally, and by uh, and by ordinance and by laws in the state of New Jersey when it comes to the matters that you have must move before the planning and zoning board. When you, when you come before this body, it's really nothing that we can do. Well, so what he told us is on, totally on, false on, then. On. It was no, a complete you, lie what he told nobody's us. Nobody's going to tell okay. you. None of our broker our professionals will tell anyone a lie. Uh, so it sounds bro, like our it. Bro, our, bro, okay. our, our, our planning board lawyer explained this to you at the planning and zoning board. We meeting. did everything. We, okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on, okay. okay. Um, um, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you have a vendetta against me, no, sir? Hold, hold on. You don't even know who you are. Okay. You don't know you're my neighbor. You just live you're my neighbor that gives me hold grief on. all the time. Hold on. That's who I hold am. Hold on. Stop it. Your grief. Mr. Uh, okay, well, hold, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He hasn't slept for three weeks. Okay, okay? now what, we're what all under very hold, hold, a lot hold. of stress. All right, if you want us to deal with it, mm -hmm. you got to listen. Okay, we got to have order in here. Okay, we're not mm -hmm. going to attack one another. We're trying to get this resolved. Now, okay. you said that Ed Williams, you talked to him. Mm -hmm. He said that it's going to be taken care of. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, he comes on when Mondays. I'll be here Monday. 5.30? 5.30, they'll be signed. Okay? That's it. Well, he, he, the, why won't, the problem we're having is he just needs to sign this for the DAC. He's going to get this letter that he required from us. He's having a stalemate with the DAC that has the, DCA, DCA. D, DCA, I'm sorry. Okay. The one, they're in Hamilton. Yeah. Okay, I don't they, know the they, guy's they name. They only deal with building. Permits permits for buildings so if somebody comes and do a roof all right uh this is for our trailer this is no they don't to have do nothing to do with trailers that's no. what they're that's what he will I'm, sign I'm, on okay i will be here monday to see if i'm going to call ed and mar please I, do. we're going to have a resolve monday all right please please that's all i that's, ask please i rode by your house too i see they're working on the roof i yes, see new they're, uh they're moving I know. a lot quicker I, than they even thought so, so. I, it, i'm just saying that i do ride through here i wrote and seen them working out there and putting that roof on monday it'll be resolved thank you all right you be here 5 30 i'll be here all okay. right okay we're counting okay. on i'm gonna hold you to this okay okay Hello, my name is Keith Waters, uh -huh. 302 Nelson Avenue. Uh -huh. I'm here on behalf of my neighbors. Um, my, my personal problem is um, this was an emergency, and Mayor Council has the right to make emergency decisions for the rest of the borough. Mm -hmm. And my question is, why did they make that right? And they, it, there has been chance times when Mayor Council had made these decisions. Mm -hmm. I think, Mr. Mayor, you was on council one time when they did it for Miss Tillman. I wasn't on council. But you wasn't on council. Well, no. Miss Tillman house caught on fire, mm -hmm. and within a week she had a trailer mm -hmm. at our at, at our home. Mm -hmm. and I remember this. Mm -hmm. Everything. And my problem is all this stuff going around, and there also is our state laws about emergency like this too, mm -hmm. that allows up to six months, mm -hmm. and nothing has been done. They've been, they've been over a month since they've been out of the house. And I did, feel, you, did you hear me tell them no, on Monday we'll but, take care of it? But my, my problem is, mm -hmm. why was it matter stopped when they came to Mayor Council? They went to the planning board. They went to the planning board first, then they came to Mayor Council. Because they went to the planning board first because they didn't want to get thrown, everything thrown back. Well, you have to go to the planning for this. Well, you have to go to the Mayor Council for that. And that's what's happening now. They get thrown back from one person to another person to another person. We just resolved it. Keith. Well, it's resolved now, right? Mm -hmm. You said it's resolved now. Why was it resolved at the caucus meeting? You couldn't resolve it at the caucus yes, meeting. Yes, Mr. Mayor, you make emergency decisions. 
-hmm. for emergency. Mm -hmm. And if you don't rule that emergency, what let, is the emergency in this let, town? Let, let me explain something to you, uh, Keith. Um, it's their particular issue. And then on top of that, let me let me explain something to you, emergency situation. Okay. Okay. They have insurance. The insurance company wants to provide them with a house. It's not like they're out on the streets. They can't live in this house or don't want to go because of where he said he has a dog and it's too far away. Okay? He had uh, things. It, it, dog, it, was a a dog. it was a service it was dog. A, a My wife is disabled okay. and has service seizures. Dog. So she had, they had a place. They made the election of not going there. Okay? So now we have to deal with it. I, I, you know, it's no need inciting the issue. The issue is going to be resolved Monday. Thank you. All right. No, I'm not. I'm not through yet, sir. Because I was on council mm -hmm. for three years, mm -hmm. and you made decisions that was emergency decisions mm -hmm. that was not mm -hmm. affected the borough right there. You have made decisions, emergency decisions to the borough, mm -hmm. which cost the borough money. Mm -hmm. This decision, emergency decision, wouldn't have cost the borough a penny. Mm -hmm. We have a solicitor up here mm -hmm. who should know the laws. And he should he should have told the Lord mm -hmm. about the state laws and stuff, mm -hmm. about what mayor council can do for our residents. Mm -hmm. Mayor council is working up here for our residents, mm -hmm. and I don't feel I, I don't feel we're getting that, Alvin. Okay. So I'm gonna say what I have to say. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else from the public? Well, I have a question. No, you Ben. We got some other people. How you doing? Hey. My name is Kenny Smith, 231 Washington Avenue. Um, number one, uh, I wanted to tell council that um, we plan on having a um, a Easter egg hunt mm -hmm. uh, for the, the Freedom School um, campus having an Easter egg hunt, and it'll be on April 20th mm -hmm. um, at the Easter egg hunt. Garrison Lodge, um, Masonic Lodge Number Three of Chisholm, New Jersey, for um, for the third year, will be donating a bike for um, any child that you know. What happens? We put a ticket in the in the Easter egg, and they, they get it. They get the bike. So we're doing that. That's going to be on April twentieth. I think yeah, it, April 20th. it's going to be at the um, at the playground at the Leanna Harris um, Recreational Park, and um, I think we usually start around 12 o'clock. Okay. okay, that's number one. Um, number two, um, next week on the 23rd, we're having our um, Older Americans um, Family uh, Fair uh, for the Drug Alliance. Um, I invite everybody to come out um, we have a lot of people coming through. We have our, our City of Angels. What they do is they get people into um, rehabs and things of that nature. We also have in um, um, Solid Rock Church. They have a um, they have a rehab program that they work with. Also, the um, community um, um, Camden County um, seniors is coming to talk to the seniors about things that's going on with the seniors in Camden County. We're going to have the library there. Um, anybody wants to get a library card, they're going to sign them up for a library card or whatever like that. Um, uh, and we're going to have a whole bunch of people there. I invite you all to, to come out. Um, it's going to be an excellent <coughs> event. Um, you learn a lot of things, uh, a lot of things about um, the drug issues and things of that nature. Um, I went to a drug alliance um, meeting in in um, Clementon, and what they're saying now is that cocaine is coming back. So um, we have to be ready, uh, you know. Whereas uh, um, we've been watching out about the opioids, they say cocaine is coming back. So um, you know, just come out so you can learn what's going on and what's happening, and um, also we're gonna have the. We're gonna have the police talk to our older, our older um, um, constituents because a lot of them are raising their grandchildren and, and so forth. So, like, um, you know, what to look for to make sure you know. So maybe you can you can um, catch it 
before it gets real bad. Um, sometimes just little things that you see in their room, you find out that they, they might be on something. Mm -hmm. And like, you know, things that we, we would look at and say, well, you know, that's just this. Um, we find out that it's some type of drug paraphernalia. Okay, so um, that's what, that's all I wanted to say. All right. Oh, man. Um, oh, it's going to be at the um, at the community center, um, like normal. Um, we start we start at one. It's from one to four. Um, and um, I mean, it's usually a good event. It's usually a good um, good event. So um, definitely, we look forward to everybody coming out and um, seeing what's going on in the community. Coach, would you give me an email and all the above? Yes. <coughs> oh, say that again. All right, the, um, the Easter egg hunt will be on April 20th. April 20th, um, 2016. 16. I mean, yeah. um, 2000. <laughs> that was a good year. Um, 2019. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to bring it back to the way back. Um, I missed the Peabody. And um, also. What time? Uh, um, that that's probably start at twelve o'clock. Okay. And okay. also, fourth and seven. And that's going to be at fourth and seven. And also, we're going to be um, having our drug alliance function, old um, geared towards older Americans, um, and that will be on March twenty third, and that starts at one o'clock. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Y'all have a nice evening. Anybody else? Okay, can I get a motion to close this portion of the Move. meeting? Second. Roll call. Alwan? Yes. Q? Yes. Barnett? Yes. Hearn? Yes. Little? Yes. Maroon? Yes. <clears throat> okay, reports. Reports. Clerk report for the month of February. Total amount collected $1,408.20. Police department report. For the month of February, total mileage is 4,248. Total rest two. Total free call for service 436. Added calls per day 15. Traffic division report total accident is one. And that's all reports. Okay, that's all reports. Can I get a motion to approve reports? Motion. Second. Move to second roll call, please. Alan? Yes. Q? Yes. Hearn? Yes. Little? Yes. Maroon? Yes. Yes. <coughs> Myself? Yes. <laughs> Is everybody? Is everybody? Yeah. Okay. Ordinance 2019 1 to exceed the miss exceed the municipal budget appropriation limits and establish a cap bank is hereby approved on second and final reading on March the 14th. Uh, can I have a motion to open ordinance 2019-1 to the public? So moved and second. Moved and second. Roll call, please. Alwan? Yes. Q? Yes. Garnett? Yes. Hearn? Yes. Little? Yes. Maroon? Yes. Any uh, member of the public who has any questions on um, the ordinance to exceed the municipal budget appropriations limits and establish a cap bank? Um, you can come forward and ask questions. Since no member from the public wishes to come forward and ask questions, could I get a motion to close that portion of the ordinance? So moved. Second. Moved and second. Roll call, please. Alwan? Yes. Q? Yes. Barnett? Yes. Hearn? Yes. Little? Yes. Maroon? Yes. Ordinance 2019. Dash one, the ordinance to exceed the municipal budget <coughs> appropriations limits and establish a cap bank is hereby approved and second and approved on second and final reading on March 14, 2019. Got to move. move, second. Roll call, please. Alwan? Yes. Q? Yes. Garnett? Yes. Hearn? Yes. Little? Yes. Maroon? Yes. Ordinance 2019-2, an ordinance fixing the compensation of officers and employees of the borough of Chislehurst County of Camden, uh, State of New Jersey, uh, is hereby approved on second and final reading. 
Uh, can I have, get a motion to open ordinance 2019-2 to the public? Moved and second. Roll call, please. Yes. Yes. Barnett. Yes. Hearn. Yes. Middle. Yes. Maroon. Yes. Any member of the public who wishes to ask questions about Ordinance 2019-2, come forward. <coughs> Since no member of the public wishes to come forward and ask questions on Ordinance 2019-2, can I get a motion to close the public portion of that? of this ordinance. So moved. moved and second. Roll call, please. Alwan. Yes. Two. Yes. Barnett. Yes. Hearn. Yes. Little. Yes. Maroon. Yes. Ordinance 2019-2, an ordinance fixing the compensation of officers and employees of the borough of Chislehurst County of Camden, state of New Jersey, is hereby approved on second and final reading held on March 14, 2019. Could I have a motion? Moved and second. Roll call, please. Alwa. Yes. Two. Yes. Garnett. Yes. Hearn. Yes. Little. Yes. Maroon. Yes. Ordinance 2019 3, an ordinance amending Chapter 236 of the Borough Code, food establishments, to include requirements for retail food establishments, establishments to obtain a health certificate on, and retail food mercantile license is hereby approved on second and final reading. Uh, on ordinance 2019, can I have a dash three, can I have a motion to open it, that ordinance to the public for questions or concerns? So moved. Moved and second, roll call please. Alwa. Yes. Two. Yes. Garnett. Yes. Hearn. Yes. Little. Yes. Maroon. Yes. Any member of the public who has questions or concerns on ordinance 2019-3, please come forward with your Questions and concerns. <clears throat> Since no member of the public has any questions or concerns on Ordinance 2019 3, Ordinance Amending Chapter 236 of the Borough Code, food establishments to include requirements for retail food establishments to obtain a health certificate and retail food mercantile license is hereby approved on second and final reading. Can I get a motion? to close the public portion. <laughs> On Ordinance 2019-3, <coughs> Ordinance Amending Chapter 236 of the Borough Code, food establishments to include requirements for retail food establishments to obtain a health certificate and retail food mercantile licenses hereby approved on and second and final reading on March the 14th, 2019. Can I have a motion? Move to second roll call, please. Alwa. Yes. Two. Yes. Garnett. Yes. Hearn. Yes. Little. Yes. Maroon. Yes. Okay. Resolution 19-82, approved land sale to be held on April 17th at the Borough Hall. Did anybody else come up with anything? Okay, so the only thing we're going to sell is that house that we have. We got in the foreclosure. Uh, we got a house in foreclosure. The minimum bid is $35,000. Um, so on that date, people need to find out uh, 17th. The 17th, we're going to have the land sale. At what time, Gloria? 10 o'clock, 10 a.m. Uh, the borough of Chislehurst is selling a house at 10 a.m. on April 17th. And the minimum bid is $35,000. Um, so if you are interested in that particular property, Come on down, okay, on the 17th at 10 o'clock and make your bid. Uh, resolution 19-82 approved land sale to be held on April 17th at the Borough Hall. So moved. moved and second. Roll call, please. Alwa. Yes. Two. Yes. Garnett. Yes. Hearn. Yes. Little. Yes. Maroon. Yes. Resolution 19-86 authorized bid award to W.B. Mason, Authors Basics, and Paper Mart under the Camden County Cooperative Bid, A27-2018 for copy, computer paper, and envelopes. So moved. Moved to second. Roll call, please. Alwa. Yes. Two. Yes. Garnett. Yes. Hearn. Yes. Little. Yes. Maroon. Yes. Resolution 19-87, authorize a professional service agreement 
for redevelopment and special attorney for foreclosure services. Can I get a motion? So moved. Second. Moved and second. Roll call, please. Powell? Yes. Kidd? Yes. Garnett? Yes. Hearn? Yes. Middle? Yes. Murrow? Yes. Resolution 19 88. Authorized professional service agreement for municipal auditing services with Bowman and Company. So moved. Second. Moved to second. Roll call, please. Alwan? Yes. Kidd? Yes. Garnett? Yes. Hearn? Yes. Middle? Yes. Murrow? Yes. Resolution 19 89. Authorized a professional service agreement for municipal solicitor service with Brown and Connery. So moved. Second. Moved to second. Roll call, please. Alwan? Yes. Garnett? Yes. Hearn? Yes. Middle? Yes. Marone? Absolutely. <laughs> uh, on resolution 19-90, I'm going to hold up on that. i uh, got some issues that um, I talked to the solicitor about, so we're not going to do that uh, today. All right? Resolution 19-91, authorize assignment of tax sale certificate. Moved and second. Roll call, please. Allen? Yes. Kidd? Yes. Barnett? Yes. Hearn? Yes. Little? Yes. Murrow? Yes. Resolution 19 92, accept resignation of Wendell Smith as Deputy Emergency Management Coordinator. So moved. Second. Moved and second. Roll call, please. Allen? Yes. Kidd? Yes. Barnett? Yes. Hearn? Yes. Little? Yes. Murrow? Yes. Resolution 19 93, accept resignation of Robert Ingram as Emergency Management Coordinator. So moved. Second. Moved to second. Roll call, please. Alwan? Yes. Kidd? Yes. Garnett? Yes. Hearn? Yes. Middle? Yes. Murrow? Yes. <coughs> Resolution 19-94, authorize the borough engineer to make application and mayor to execute a county CDBG agreement for program year 2019. Moved and second. Roll call, please. Allen? Yes. Kidd? Yes. Barnett? Yes. Hearn? Yes. Middle? Yes. Murrow? Yes. Resolution 19-95, authorize a professional service agreement for planning board solicitor and special services with Michael Albano. So moved. Second. Moved and second. Roll call, please. Allen? Yes. Kidd? Yes. Garnett? Yes. Hearn? Yes. Middle? Yes. Murrow? Yes. Resolution 19-96, approve request from American Tower Corporation for consent to modify and replace on an existing cell tower within the borough of Chislehurst. So moved. Second. Moved to second. Roll call, please. Allen? Yes. Kidd? Yes. Barnett? Yes. Hearn? Yes. Middle? Yes. Hearn? Yes. Okay. Then we have resolution. I'll let the solicitor read resolution 19-97. Uh, yes, this will be Resolution 19-97, appointing Harry Van Skyver as the Borough of Chislehurst Emergency <coughs> Management Coordinator for calendar year 2019. If approved, we will draft the resolution. It will be signed on Monday and forwarded to the county. Okay. Can I get a motion on Resolution 19-97? Second. Moved and second. Roll call, please. Allen? Yes. Kidd? Yes. Garnett? Yes. Hearn? Yes. Middle? Yes. Yes. Any new business from council? I have two things. Um, discussion we had last week with regards to the prison school. Is, is anyone getting contact with them to have them come and speak with us? Uh, I think they're going to be working on that. Is, is, yeah, Kenny, I they did know that? text Juanita. I'm waiting for her to text me back. But okay, so they, they're working on she that. She is. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the caucus me, so they know. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, the second thing, um, we were speaking about the drainage issue uh, earlier there, mm -hmm. um, and I was speaking with Mr. and Mrs. Stark, um, and they have a concern with the drainage over on 2nd Avenue. Um, they're saying every time it rains, I guess because they're on the downhill side, mm -hmm. that we there's that issue where it, drain, it uh, floods in their area. Get, get me the address so I can check that one out, too. Okay. Okay. Anybody else? No, Can I, no, okay. Could I get a motion to approve bills for payment? So moved. Second. Roll call. Alan. Yes. Kidd. Yes. Barnett. Yes. Hearn. Yes. 
Yes. Yes. This meeting is now adjourned.